Okay guys, before we get into this video, I first and foremost want to apologize for not bringing the content up and not posting it as soon as I should have. There's been a lot of family things going on lately, um, like spending time with uh, family up here in Texas. I haven't seen these guys in two years. Also, my baby niece, Galilea, was just born today and everyone was super excited. We're in a big old hurry and to you know try to go see her and you know welcome her to the world also I want to shout out my dear Randy for getting me some of the new equipment you might notice that the quality of the content is a lot better because of the equipment that he got by Tubase Tubase is a vlogging um, equipment company and they make products such as these and he got me it to Unfortunately, I won't be able to use this because, you know, I have an iPhone 7 and it doesn't have the jack. But I'll get into the review of this product in another video. So without further ado, let's get episode 2 of Questions with Garza started. Starting off, who are you cool with from the baseball team? I'm cool with probably about a couple guys. RJ being one of them. I mentioned him in the last video. Jeremiah, Dom, Edgar, and I think there's one more. I can't get. Oh no, Alex. And yeah, those are the those are the guys that I'm cool with. Edgar, I've known him since uh, Fremont. Jeremiah, I just met him this year. He was in my math class. RJ and Alex, I met, I met them both through, uh, through football. And, yeah, that's, that's how I pretty much knew those guys. Do you have anyone that you can count on to protect you from people who try to... Okay, let me just shorten this up. Do I have anyone that backs me up? Yes about almost all of the football team almost um, a lot of the a lot of the athletes and a lot of my buddies that I needed from fifth grade they always got my back it's important that you know who your real friends are and it's important who you know that you know the people who are just there just to be there you always want to have the good people around you if you surround yourself with positive people you know you're gonna be a positive person end of story Okay, what are your thoughts on Mia Khalifa? Seems like a loaded question. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Mia Khalifa is, she is a, how do I say, actress? And, uh, I don't know, a lot of people have a lot of different feelings about her. Um, something that had to do with um, the whole uh, Muslim thing and all that. And I mean, I, I, I thought it was kind of mess. I think it's kind of messed up that people don't like her just because of the fact that she's Muslim. I mean, who cares? And you know, she's just doing what she's trying to do. And then there's the people that say that she's a very disrespectful Muslim because of the profession that she chooses. Hey, I mean, you can't, you can't tell her how to do. You know, you can't tell her what to do for her life. Why am I defending her? This is such a loaded question. But hey, this is Weird Questions with Garza. Our right, next question. What is the future of Oxnard football looking like? Um, we have a good future ahead of us, I believe. I believe if we, if we go hard in this summer practice and if we, you know work together as a team and we're always pushing each other we have that camaraderie I I feel like we're going to do good this season uh, who knows what the future holds who knows what's going to go on I can't I can't just zoom into the future and know what's going to happen but you know what I, I think we were going to have a good future and uh, this season being my senior season I cannot wait for it it's going to be very exciting also, be on the lookout for some game day vlogs. That's what I'm going to start doing. And what happened to the movie that you were going to make? 
last year. Oh, that's right. I had a movie set already set up in my backyard, and I was working on a film project. Um, not for like a particular class, but this was doing it just for the kick in the teeth. I wanted to do a mixture of stop motion, and I wanted to also get a feel of creating my own set and working with green screens, you know. I wanted to get a little bit more involved and try to experiment with my creative side. But before I can finish off the movie, someone threw away my set. I came in, I came out the next morning and, you know, my set was gone and I'm just like, what happened? But it is what it is. Um, I might think of coming out with, with um, movies again. I just got to get myself into it and get some more creative ideas, some more original ideas too. Because I've been just trying to, you know, just do my own Godzilla movies. But no, I think I need to, you know, get into this creative mind of mine and, you know, make something from scratch. But who knows? There you go. Who is the best D lineman at your school currently? Tall guy. Yes. Um, I, I say tall guy. He's a... The, despite him being very, very big, he's very, um, he's very good with his technique. Um, when, when it comes to his size, um, he doesn't let, uh, people take advantage of the fact that he's high. Usually the same is in football, the lower man is always the winner. But with Tall Guy, he uses a lot of great technique. And he doesn't let, um, he doesn't let his height be a disadvantage. He's always getting to the line whenever he can. And um, very strong guy, too. Tall guy, strong guy. You put those together and, yeah, you get a pretty good D lineman. Who is your favorite cousin? I don't have a favorite cousin because I love all my cousins equally. They're always there. Um, Any time we're together, we always have a good time. And I, I, I don't feel like I should have a, a favorite cousin. I think all my cousins are my favorite. I love everyone equally. How often do you jerk off? First of all, <laughs> these questions are getting weird. Uh, I'm not going to discuss that. That's a little... Take it easy there, buddy. Yeah, did you ever have feelings for anyone? I did. Um, I still do have a little bit of feelings for her, but, like, I don't know if she feels the same way about me. A um, couple, couple of you may already know who it might be, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anyone's names on here. But yeah, I I did have feelings for someone. Hey, big boy, how much do you bench? Oh, now this is a good question. Um, my max bench is about two hundred and ninety-five pounds. That's pretty heavy. Um, I achieved that max when I was doing training in Camry over a program called Yak, and. We had to do a, um, a testing for weightlifting, and my max was 290. I maxed out 295. We started off, I started off at two plates, and then I'm like, you know what, maybe I can go higher and higher. And I got, and I got to 295. I was a little disappointed, though, because I'm five pounds away from reaching 300, which I think the person that benches at is probably Matthew Cortez on our football team. He's also a pretty good guy. Um, I could say one of the best offensive linemen out there in the class of 2021. And, yeah. What was freshman year summer football like? Hell. It was a lot of, um, a lot of running freshman year. Um, I'm going to be honest. I think the amount of running we did freshman year... Didn't, does not really amount to the amount of running we did 
varsity year or last year when I was in varsity. Sure, the running was pretty hard. Everyone remembers the conditioning test that Coach Mack did. Oh my gosh, I sucked at it and I hated it. But I think uh, freshman year's running was tough, um, a lot tough. And it was kind of a rude awakening of um, the expectations that Oxnard has for its players, which um, it's a good thing. Um, that way people know, like, hey, you're um, when you're here at Oxnard, you're not here to mess around. You're here to get ready to work. We're a winning team, and we're going to continue to be in a winning team. Whatever happened to your little brother, Mark? Well, I'm not going to go too much into detail. All I'm going to say is that he, uh, kids were messing with him and socked him so much, gave him a bruised eye right here. But you know what? He's doing a lot better. Um, he was able to recover from it. Um, we're, we now transferred him to school, so he's no longer going to Haydock. He's going to be going to Fremont. Go Falcons. And he's going to be at a much better school. A lot of the teachers know me over there. And I was able to get along with them well. And I think they'll get along with my brother too. And that's what I'm most excited about. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will conclude the video. I just want to once again say thank you very much to my Theo Randy for getting me brand new vlogging equipment. Um, sadly, I wasn't able to use the microphone. So the audio still kind of sucks. But I do have a stand that the phone is currently on to keep the phone stable. Um, before, I had it on my backpack and a pair of socks. And it kept it up all right, but I needed something that was going to keep it stable. And also a better quality mic, so hopefully the air conditioner doesn't you know, affect the hearing again. Um, tomorrow, I should probably film a review on the product and to show all the contents. And maybe get you guys interested in purchasing one of these if you're interested in vlogging, filming, photography, whatever it might be. Or even recording for like music or voice memos. This would be a good deal for you guys. Once again, I'm going to leave a link to my Snapchat right now. Go ahead and add my Snapchat so the next time I have a YOLO link, you guys will be able to submit your own questions for me to be featured on the show. And once again, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you want to, go ahead and subscribe down below. Like the video, share with your friends and family. And if you don't like the video, I, I really don't care. And until next time, next episode, and probably the review of this, I will see you next time.